Okay, this is part four of the fucking Sonic 4 Let's Play. What the fuck? Fucking gay hit What the fuck? Oh my fucking god, Sega. You need to fucking shorten his quills or something. You need to put the Sonic 1 Sonic in it. You need the classic Sonic. Ugh! Fucking gay. It's fucking stupid. What the fuck? Fuck up there, you fucking moron! I hate this level. Ugh, I need to get 50 fucking rings. Oh my god! Fuck. Well, anyways, I'm gonna fucking like this. Then, then you, most of my morons don't jump. You gotta jump, okay, morons? Now up here is a fucking minecart. It, it's an okay gimmick. It's not as bad as I thought it would be. Now hold right here, you're gonna fucking fall. And what you do here is you jump on the exclamation points and fucking stuff. And, and, and fuck! Fuck! What the fuck? Ah! <laughs> Stupid hentai Sonic died in a minecart. That was a funny fucking animation. What the fuck? I'm glad I fucking died for once. It was awesome. But anyways, I'm gonna fucking own this shit now. What you do is you fucking... You want, whenever you fucking go up the fucking thing right here, you, you just fucking hold right. You don't, like, let go of it or you're gonna fucking die. This is a classic Sonic the Hedgehog. Yeah, it's Sonic 4, but it has fucking different physics. It has hentai Sonic physics. It doesn't have the Sonic 1 physics. It doesn't have Sonic 2 physics or Sonic 3 physics. You just jump in the ring for bonus stage. Oh, yeah, I'm so freaking good as fuck. Fuck. Anyways, I'm gonna freaking own this shit. And this is what? They should have fucking put him as a fucking playable character. What the fuck? I mean, this is fucking stupid. I mean, what the fuck? So fucking dumb. That wasn't fucking predict to predictable at all. I mean, what the fuck? If I was a fucking Sonic one Sonic, that wouldn't have fucking happened. What actually happened was the fucking. Hentai quills jumped off the bumper and it just made me go on the fucking goal. I mean, what the fuck? It's fucking dumb. Uh, here's the fucking Labyrinth Zone ripoff. If, if they wanted to be a fucking Labyrinth Zone ripoff, they need to fucking, you know, make it more watery and stuff. I mean, it, it's a Labyrinth Zone ripoff and it, it's okay. It's not as good as the fucking Sonic 1 Sonic Labyrinth Zone. And what the fuck? Why the fuck are these in the fucking Labyrinth Zone? Those are in the fucking Starlight Zone. I mean, the Labyrinth Zone, they had red ones that shoot. The Starlight Zone, they have ones that don't shoot. But in this one, they had to help, help the modern Sonic fans' hands, and they make him extend his spikes now so you can actually hit him. In Sonic 1, you don't do that. They just freaking float in the air like fucking ball sacks, and you can't hit them unless you're like a hit recoil or something. You have a blink thing or something. Or invincibility, or if you get really, really lucky, you hit his little hit box. But um, this is fucking gay. I mean, it's a fucking labyrinth zone ripoff. It's not as good as Sonic One. I mean, what the fuck? And I, I really hate how Sonic grabs bubbles in this one because his animation is different. It just goes ooh, 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 like that noise. I, I want that noise, and I want the part where he's like holding his hands out. I don't want him to shove a bubble in his mouth. I just want him to do it like on Sonic 1. I mean, what the fuck? In this, you basically get that box out of the way. You tilt it until the water pressure pushes that out. But there's one in the fucking level where you can't fucking see it and it's just fucking stupid. There's a spike at the bottom, like under a fucking ledge, and you can barely see the fucking spike if you first play this fucking game. It's fucking gay and Sega Sonic Team or Hentai Team or the fuck what the fuck? Sonic 3 and fucking 3 Knuckles rip off me? What the fuck? What's your ideas? Stop ripping off of Sonic 1, 2, 3. What the fuck? I've already done this, Sega. It's not that hard. And there's a life there. But guess what? I don't need a fucking life. I'm fucking good as fuck. I'm gonna put on my fucking life. You think I need another fucking life? What the fuck, Sega? You fucking suck. Ugh. Okay, here's the... What the fuck? Invincibility by a shield? What the fuck? You always hold your fucking hands. Why can't you make this fucking game challenging? This is fucking retarded, Sega. You're fucking dumb. You need a fucking, you know... Put the Sonic 
fun Sonic. The classic Sonic. And you, and what the fuck? I mean, this is... This is horrible. I mean... What the fuck? You fucking orbit that bitch? Ugh. You know, I'm gonna fucking play the Sonic 1 Master System. You know, I'm gonna freaking own that shit. I mean... Yeah, I might die a few times because it's a little bit more challenging than the regular Sonic one on the Genesis, but, you know, I'm still gonna beat it, and I'm still gonna own the fucking shit like fuck. Stop throwing those fucking shits and going slow as fuck, you stupid moron, Arbonine. I mean, what the fuck? What a moron. Get out of my way, you fucking moron. Duh! I'm so glad you don't collect the animals like in Sonic Adventure. It's so fucking dumb. I don't want to fucking pay one. Idiots. Ugh! all these bubbles popping up. I don't even need any bubbles. I mean, what the fuck? This is horrible. They should make it challenging at least. I mean, whenever I was a kid, I was the same age as the kids playing this right now. And they didn't held my hand in Sonic 1, 2, and 3. I had to beat that game fair fucking square. I mean, I had skill when I was a kid. I didn't use any continues or nothing. I was fucking good as fuck. I didn't need all these fucking lives. I could earn it myself with a hundred fucking rings, finding all the secret fucking lives. I mean, what the fuck? I mean, this is fucking stupid. All we do is hold the modern Sonic hands. I mean, what the fuck? This is fucking dumb. Ugh. What you do here, though, is you fucking press the switch on both sides, and then you fucking open the fucking door to enter and, like, leave the fucking stage. I mean... Yeah, that's what you do, so I gotta get this one. There we go, and then I just jump jump again. Do not hold right when you fucking jump or you're not gonna make it, you modern morons. It's not about speed. Now we're fucking make the bonus stage and stuff, and, you know, we got a decent score, I guess. The Sonic 1 Sonic! Yes, I got the Sonic 1 Sonic. Yes! But then again, they... Did you fucking put this loading screen as a fucking playable character? What the fuck? Oh, that pisses me off. Ugh. But right, you, what you do here is... I'm gonna fucking own this shit now. It's not gonna fucking piss me off, okay? I'm gonna fucking own this. I'm gonna own this shit. It's gonna be easy as fuck. I mean, what the fuck? Oh, you fucking hentai quills. It's fucking stupid as fuck. Ugh. I guess I gotta fucking do the fucking casino fucking zone off screen and fucking show you the fucking special stage 7 on separate video with its mad gear parts, not finishing mad gear zone because of the fucking special stage. But here's the fucking boss. I mean, most of you modern idiots think this boss is fucking hard. Well, to tell you the truth, this boss is harder than the boss in Sonic 1. The Sonic 1 boss, Labyrinth Zone, is easy as fuck. Every single fucking time I almost play that fucking boss, I never hit the fucking water. Like this. I should never hit the fucking water. If I'm skilled, I should not hit the water. But guess what? Sega Sonic did- What the fuck? I didn't use a spin dash. It's fucking retarded. Fucking broken controls. But anyways. They shouldn't fucking, you know, if you're skilled, you should not be able to hit the water. Like, I am. I should not hit the water. This is fucking stupid. But guess what? They make it where you hit the water. It's fucking gay as fucking fuck. I mean, what the fuck? Ugh. It's so stupid. I mean, the physics in this game suck. The character design sucks. I mean, the only good thing is kind of the gameplay, but it's kind of thrown off. It's not really exactly classic-like. It's still fun for a Sonic game, but as for a Sonic 4, it doesn't meet, it meet its standards. So they better fucking improve it in episode fucking 2 with no tails, no nigger knuckles, classic Sonic model, and the fucking, you know, fucking classic physics, original ideas for stages, and no fucking rehash bosses. Now I'm going to show you modern morons how to beat this. Did you see how I did that one trick over there? Yeah, you modern idiots, there's a trick at the first time. You get a free shot when those things go up. But I fucking hit him! What the fuck? It's fucking stupid as fuck. But anyways, what you do here, if you see those, you just jump up here and I think you get three hits on them. In the other place where you do boss rush, you can only get one because it's quicker. 
But anyways, what you fucking do here is you fucking... I mean, this is the hardest one to dodge from everybody. Well, I found an easy way to do it. Stand on the edge, and then you wait till the fucking thing's about to smash, then you jump, and then you hit his fucking fat ass. You fucking egg fuck. Yeah, get the fuck out of here. I fucking owned your ass. You're fucking gay. Oh my god, I have to rescue the 3D faggots. Why can't they be, like, you know, the fucking Sonic one, where they just run off the screen as fast as they can? They have to hop like fucking retarded idiots. And, you know... I'm going to see you in part 5, okay? Sonic 1 Sonic, yes! I got to Sonic 1. Now, 